Are you a foodie who dreams of traveling the world? If so, you're in luck. In this video, we'll be exploring the exciting world of full-time travel for food lovers, discussing the benefits and challenges of eating on the road, and sharing practical tips to help you eat well while exploring the world. So my name's John. I've been a full-time traveler for the past three years or so. I have not traveled so much lately. However, I've traveled mostly in an Airstream Globetrotter travel trailer and also in an Airstream Classic travel trailer, which I'm in now. Before we begin, I am by no means a foodie. I really like to eat. I am a fitness instructor and a fitness consultant, so I actually eat a lot and burning a lot of calories throughout the day. I really like food, but I wouldn't consider myself a culinary expert by any means. I'm really boring with that. If I go to a restaurant and I like something there, Every time I come back, I'll get the same thing because I like it. I know how to cook some healthy meals. And in fact, cooking on the road in an Airstream or an RV is very similar to cooking at home. As you walk in, there's a full-size fridge. This fridge works off of 12 volt power, only electricity. Uh, a lot of fridges in RVs and Airstreams, they work off of um, electricity and propane. This one's just electricity. So this is the stove area. It has a three burner cook stove and like a backsplash thing right behind it. What you would do is you just take these, turn it a little bit, turn it on, push it in, turn on the igniter, and then you can go from low to high with the propane. So the propane uh, fuel uh, works through the oven as well. So the storage everywhere in the kitchen as well. I have other appliances that aren't set up right now inside here. Um, the pantry slides out here. More pantry kind of stuff above, and there's more storage here, glasses, cups, plates, bowls, things like that. Under here is a trash can, and there's drawers that pull out for larger utensils and smaller utensils, or knives, things like that. However, many times when you are full-time RVing or full-time airstreaming, or just traveling a lot on the road, you're gonna have to get used to getting snacks that may be in the car, maybe in your RV, but most of the time, you're gonna be eating when you arrive to your destination. If you're enjoying this video so far, it'd mean a lot to me if you could click like, subscribe, comment, and interact with this video. It helps get the video out to more people who might be interested in this topic. Topic. Now, having worked in the fitness industry for most of my life, I've gotten pretty good at what we call meal prepping. If you don't know what that is, that's basically making a whole bunch of food at once, putting it into containers, storing it away in a fridge. That's usually my preferred way to eat because I like to eat a lot. I don't like to spend a lot of time cooking. It's cheaper and quicker, but oftentimes I found myself getting food at gas stations if I had not prepared food ahead of time. But when you're traveling a lot, you need that energy to keep going. So it's important to eat healthy while you're on the road. So let's take a look at how some people are doing it these days. First thing, this is a really, really great tip when you're meal planning inside for a backpacking trip, start in the pantry. There's quite a few packaged items that are really available. The pre-cooked rice, the beans, the peanut butters, all of these are really great to have in the pantry. I do have a cooler on this trip, so that really opens it up about what I could possibly buy. But uh, I've got a couple different proteins. I have got some fresh veggies. And what I like to do is just buy a couple. And then the last thing I did is I did purchase some items that don't necessarily need refrigeration that will be able to complement some of the meals that I've got in the old noodle up here. We got our grocery haul here. And one of the first things that we do is, since we sometimes camp um, a long distance from where we're going shopping, we always bring a big cooler with some frozen water bottles on, lined on the bottom and we put all of our foods that need to stay cold in there since we're driving um, pretty long distances sometimes up to 45 minutes or an hour from where we're camping. Summer is here and I know a lot of people like to travel so today I'm sharing some healthy road trip snack boxes. I am sharing two boxes that don't need to be refrigerated and two boxes that would best keep in the cooler. For myself if I'm traveling about a thousand miles, which may be a couple days trip, I'm gonna bring stuff in a small cooler. And in fact, I have a bag called Six Pack Bags. Actually, I have a few of them, which is a meal prep bag. And I'll put a link around this video so you can check that out. But what I like to do is I might bring some fresh fruit with me, some nuts or kind of trail mix that I don't need to refrigerate or don't need to be cold for too long. I'll bring a lot of water or juice with me. And I use insulated Yeti tumblers all the time, even when I'm at home, but especially for travel, I have a half gallon water jug. I have juice or uh, other drinks or tea in there because I drink a lot throughout the day and I definitely still do that when I'm on the road. Let's see what I brought this trip. I brought 
Um, there's guacamole at the top, hummus below that. Uh, this is trail mix. This is like a Cajun trail mix. Um, there are eggs and carrots in here. And up here I have um, pita bread for the hummus. I made a almond butter, uh, blackberry preserve and banana sandwich in there. And then and later tonight my dinner will be soup. I made a tomato and chicken tortilla soup that's in another Yeti, a bigger one. It keeps it hot for, um, it's gonna stay hot for a long time, probably through until the middle of the night is my guess. That's why I use Yetis, because if I'm on a trip for a long time and I don't wanna spend money on the road, um, I'll make stuff at home and it stays cold. This, there was juice in here where it stays hot. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of how I do it on the road so I'm not eating junk. Of course, there are moments where I don't do well to meal prep and I'll stop to, to get food. And yeah, sure, I've definitely eaten junk food on the road. So I'm trying to keep that to a minimum and eat really as, as healthy as I can. So I, I, make, I bring food with me. And of course I have um, a banana left in there. One of my favorite meals that I always bring with me on the road is called the Breakfast Bowl, which is a recipe I got from a book called The Living Lean Cookbook by Mike Dolce. And this is a meal I learned to make when I started to become a personal trainer because it gave me a lot of energy and a lot of nutrients for the day. And I'll put a link around this video for that as well. And that consisted of oats and cinnamon and blueberries and strawberries and bananas and nut butter, everything that was fresh. And then for nighttime, usually I would make soup that I would keep in an insulated container like a vegetable stew or a tomato based soup I might have that with a sandwich that I bring along sandwiches are easy to make we can always put those in containers or Ziploc bags tuck them away I'm getting hungry now that I'm talking about food so I'm gonna go into the Airstream fridge and get a salad and heat up some soup I hope you guys enjoy this video happy traveling and I'll see you on the next one